What's happening, y'all? Um... Well, let's see. What is happening? Well, right now, I'm stranded. And y'all know how much I hate being stranded. Stuck in Quantico, Virginia. Why am I stuck in Quantico, Virginia, you ask? Because earlier today, the carburetor decided that it was going to take a shit on me. Yep. So I fixed the problem. And no, I don't mean with a hammer. I really fixed it. I fixed it. I rebuilt the carburetor, and the damn thing works. It runs. I, I, yeah, it runs. Now this motherfucker really runs. It runs great. The problem is, when I rebuilt the carburetor, I decided that, hey, let's change the thermostat while we're at it. Then we won't have that running hot issue no more. I should have left the thermostat alone. Because now... Now, there's another problem. And the other problem is that <clears throat> uh, the thermostat housing cracked when I put the new thermostat in there. Now, the old thermostat was steel. Would you believe that it was a steel thermostat in here? It was the original thermostat from 1976, and it was gunked up with a whole bunch of brown stuff, which leads me to believe that somebody put bars stop leak in here at some point. And see, you can't use stop leak. If you put stop leak in something, it'll clog up everything except the leak. So, yeah, radiators clogged. I would say the heat and coal is partially clogged. Maybe not all the way, but definitely partially. The thermostat has mud in it. I mean, like, it looks like mud. It's stop leak, I think. If it's not stop leak, then it's rust. But I ain't ever seen rust that bad in a... Well, I guess it could happen, but that's stop leak. And so, now, I don't know. I could flush the radiator, flush the whole system out, and I'll still never get all the stop leak out. But, I could try that. That's an idea. But I don't think it's going to work. Especially since the radiator is clogged and the thermostat housing is broken and I think I have a blown head gasket. Not 100% sure. Yeah, but I think from it running hot and then it just running hot a minute ago on the highway and me trying to get off the highway, I think I might have a blown head gasket. So... Yeah. This is why I don't get happy about nothing. If I get happy about it, something's going to happen to it. So I try not to get happy about nothing because <laughs> this is my life. So now I'm stranded in Quantico, Virginia, and somehow or another I got to figure out a way to get back up north to at least get a thermostat housing to come back down here to put the thermostat housing on and oh you know the reason that I'm even here right now is because initially I was trying to go get tagged somebody the guy that the guy's brother I had to look his name up but the man he watched out for me he, he gave me the money to get tags and stuff so initially I was gonna go get tags today Never made it to the DMV because it cut off on me in traffic and I had to limp it to AutoZone where it cut off on me again and wouldn't start back up. And yeah, fixed that problem and now we got the possible head gasket problem and the broken thermostat housing. So 
So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, that's about that for that. It's for sale, I guess. I don't want it to be for sale, but at the same time, I'm about to have this thing put in my arm and I can't be wrenching or nothing. So I don't know. I was trying, I was hoping that mechanically this thing was good, which was good. I mean, considering I put like a thousand miles on this thing in the past few days, it was great. But this is me and my bad luck. That's that's pretty much what I chop it up to. It's me and my bad luck. Because really, there's nothing else. <laughs> Just really can't, can't be nothing else. So that sums it up. I'll talk to y'all later. Make sure you tell somebody you love them because they might be stranded like me somewhere. All right.